This video introduces Touch in the Wild, learning fine grain manipulation with a portable visual tactile gripper. We present a lightweight handheld visual tactile gripper that enables in the wild data collection, and a learning algorithm that makes use of this data to improve fine grain robotic manipulation. To collect in the wild data, we design a portable gripper equipped with a fisheye camera and flexible low cost tactile pads. These pads use a triple layer structure. A piezo-resistive sensing film is sandwiched between two sets of orthogonally aligned conductive yarns, acting as electrodes. Each pad offers dense 12 by 32 tactile resolution, capturing detailed contact information. We then connect the tactile sensors to a microcontroller that timestamps and streams data via USB to a host device. Our entire system fits into a single handheld device weighing less than one kilogram, which we carry both indoors and outdoors to gather visual tactile data. With this portable setup, we recorded over 2,700 videos spanning 43 real-world manipulation tasks, from ball tossing and place serving to many others in everyday settings. To leverage our visual tactile data set, we adopt a two-stage learning pipeline. In the first stage, we pre-train a visual tactile encoder via mask tactile reconstruction. Given a partially masked tactile input and its paired image, the encoder uses cross-attention to recover the missing tactile information and learn aligned representations of both modalities. In the second stage, we initialize a diffusion policy with this pre-trained encoder and train it by conditioning on its visual tactile embeddings alongside the robot's proprioceptive states, which enables the policy to generate precise manipulation actions. Let's walk through a series of task demonstrations to see our approach in action. First, in the test tube collection task, our policy can handle a transparent test tube, performing precise in-hand reorientation and then inserting it, even when the visual view is occluded. Next, in pencil insertion, the policy uses touch feedback to reorient the pencil and insert it smoothly. In fluid transfer, our policy can squeeze the pipette just enough to drop liquid and then expel it without spilling. Finally, in whiteboard raising, our policy detects contact with the whiteboard through touch and applies consistent pressure to clean the marker ink. We also evaluate the robustness of our policy under human disturbances. During the test tube collection task with human disturbances, the policy uses tactile signals to determine whether to reorient or insert the test tube based on whether the signal is tilted or upright. In the whiteboard erasing task with human disturbances, the policy can detect and erase newly written text in real time, even as a human continues to write on the board. Let's compare our pre-trained visual tactile policy with baselines. In the test tube collection task, our policy can complete the entire task from reorientation to insertion reliably. However, the visionary policy gets stuck at the reorientation stage and does not attempt insertion. In pencil insertion, our policy uses in-hand feedback to reorient the pencil correctly before insertion. However, the visionary policy sometimes skips the pencil reorientation step and fails the insertion. For fluid transfer, our policy reliably draws up the fluid and fully expels it without any spills. However, the visionary policy would prematurely skip the expel fluid step. In whiteboard erasing, our policy uses tactile signals to detect contact and modulate erase force. The vision-only policy, lacking force feedback, applies too little pressure and fails to erase cleanly. We also compare our policy with pre-training to a baseline with no visual tactile pre-training, whose vision encoder is initialized from clip. In the low-epoch regime, with just 10 training epochs, the policy with pre-training learns faster and can successfully reorient the test tube, while the policy without pre-training fails to do so. 
In the low demo regime, with only 30 demonstrations, our policy was pre-training smoothly transitions from grasping to reorienting the test tube, whereas the policy without pre-training is stuck after grasping the test tube. In summary, our system enables scalable in the wild data collection and improves manipulations through joint visual tactile representation learning. Our policies with pre-training are accurate, robust, and efficient, especially in real-world conditions with uncertainty and noise. We're open sourcing our hardware and code. Please check out our project page and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.